Okay. Last vlog. Here it goes. Okay. So reflect on the quarter. Do you feel as though you've grown? Uh, this quarter was, I don't know. This quarter went by really quick. Uh, I feel like I was, I should have been busier than I was, I guess. And that's kind of weird, but uh, I feel like a lot of this quarter was just kind of like procrastination and going to class sometimes and sometimes not going to class and like, I don't know. I feel like I, I have grown being here at East Bay, but uh, maybe not in the, the best way I could have, I guess. I've become more prone now to missing class and like procrastinating on my work, and which is a bad thing, I know, you know, it's a very bad thing, but I mean, like, that's just how it is, I guess. I don't know, like, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this vlog. I feel like I have grown. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know how I'm going to make 10 minutes out of this vlog. But, uh, I think I've grown as a person, as in the sense, in the sense that, like, you know, I'm able to kind of, like, do things for myself now, I guess, before. When I was at home, you know, I had my mom or my sisters, they would help me out, like, with, like, my laundry, or they would help me out with, like, making food, or, like, you know, they would, like, go grocery shopping, so that would never be, like, my job, you know? Like, now it's kind of up to me to, like, feed myself, obviously. Feed myself, wash my clothes, um, make sure I have like basic essentials, toilet paper, uh, fucking cotton swabs, lotion, all that stuff. Like you know, like like a uh, personal care stuff, and like you know, just like having to be like, oh, like today I have to go to the grocery store. Or, oh, today I have to wash clothes because I'm out of clean socks, which actually happened to me a couple days ago, and uh, I washed like yesterday or something like that. yeah i think it was yesterday i washed so i mean i'm all good now but yeah like you know just i've grown also like i guess like i'm a little bit more adventurous now like before like you know i would kind of be like oh no i don't want to do that no i just want to stay home i just want to be lazy kind of thing and like don't get me wrong i'm still like that I'm still like that you know i i love just staying indoors sometimes but, like, you know, like, sometimes when, like, people be like, hey, like, let's go to Berkeley or, hey, let's go to, like, you know, SF and let's, like, go out and stuff. And I was like, all right. I'll be like, all right, you know, let, let's do it. Like, why not? Like, you know, it, it could be fun. And, like, you know, I know that next year I'm not going to be here. So I'm actually going back to community and going back down uh, the following school year. But, like, I was just kind of like, you know what, like, I'm here for, like, Four months more. Actually, no. Technically, it's going to be three months after spring break. Like, three more months. Um, so, I might as well make the, the most of it, right? Yeah? Like, in one of my last videos, I remember I was talking about, a, like, you know, a song called Waste the Moment. And I, I feel like that's what I'm kind of doing here. I'm just wasting, wasting moments with friends and making moments and stuff. Yeah? And, um... Uh, Ever since I've gotten here, I have changed, I feel. I gained weight, that's that's a physical change, but I mean, freshman 15, right? What are you going to do? Um, but yeah, I think I've just, uh, emotionally, i probably changed, you know. I've kind of been emotionally, not, not emotionally, I've been like away from my family for so long, and back home, you know, that's all, like, they were the only ones I would hang out with, pretty much, like, I had friends and all, like, you know, like, don't get me wrong, but, like, I don't know, I was just, I had this connection, obviously, I had this, like, high
I better connect with my family and I would prefer to hang out with them. And now that I don't have anyone like that, you know, I'm just kind of up here and like, you know, yeah, I have friends and stuff and it's cool to have friends. It kind of distracts you. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I think emotionally I've grown as a person too, because I'm able to kind of like be away from my family for this long and I haven't given up, I guess, you know, I, I know people that they're going back home, like, you know, this quarter, they went back home last quarter because they couldn't handle the distance or they couldn't like, you know, or for some reason they couldn't pay the money, which is totally understandable too. But I mean, yeah, like I've grown, I've come to like identify like my dorm mates and like, you know, certain friends is kind of just like people I care about now in my, in my daily life. Um, I feel like that's what's kind of been getting me through it, you know, just the, the company of other people and the, the, you know, the good times and stuff. That's, that's kind of what's been keeping me afloat. That's what's changed me, uh, for the better, I feel. Um, also like having... Not having, like, you know, your family around and stuff, you kind of, like, realize, like, oh, like, dang, like, you know, I probably take them for granted sometimes, and I do realize that, you know, like, last time I left home, I remember I started crying, and, you know, no one else was crying, I was, I was the only one that started crying, because it was, like, the first time, not the first time, it was, like, I don't know, I was just there for so long, like, I was, I was there for two weeks, and, like, after the two weeks, like, had flown by, I was just, like, oh, my God, I have to go back, and, you know, I have to start another quarter, and I was just, like, I can't, I can't do it, like, you know, I'm, I've been away from them for so long, like, you know, I had, I had been back for two weeks, and I was, like, this is great, like, why did I ever leave, and kind of stuff like that, you know, and, like, you know, I feel like, Right there, I was kind of, like, emotionally unstable for a minute because I was, like, being reminded of what I had left behind and, like, plus a couple other personal things that I really don't want to talk about in this vlog, but it's just some things that happened um, with a significant other at the time, which I miss very dearly. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, it was just stuff like that. It was those old memories coming back and, like, those old habits of being back home. <laughs> You know, it's just kind of like, it was hard leaving that again for a second time after being there for so long. Uh, you know, I feel like it's a never-ending struggle with that when you go back home. You know, when you're there for like even a week or like a couple days and you're just like, oh, like, I don't want to leave. But at the same time, I feel like every time you go back, it gets easier. It gets easier to kind of be like, okay, like I have to go back. And that's what I feel like East Bay is kind of doing to me. Like it's it's be it's making me like more emotionally stable, more independent. Uh, also, like I'm I be I feel like I'm becoming more um, less arrogant. I'm becoming less arrogant to like other people's situations, and I'm uh, opening my mind. I'm ex expanding to other people's ideas, and I'm kind of um, you know experiencing something new, something that you know back in my hometown primarily everyone was Latino and like, you know, here like it's just a wide diversity of different people and like, you know, it's really cool just to kind of like get to know people from different races, different backgrounds. And I know I've said that in one of my other videos, but I mean it's true. Like East Bay is one of the most diverse campuses in the CSU system and you know, even though it's not the greatest fit for me personally, because they don't technically have my major and, you know, it is a bit far from home. I, I know it's not too far. It's like six hours away. But I mean, like, you know, it, it gets kind of to the point where I'm just like, oh, like, I, I feel like I want to go home. And I think I would have preferred to stay somewhere where, like, I, I could have been a bit more local. But anyways, yeah, like, East Bay has changed me for the better, I feel. And even though at times I do regret coming up here, I know it happened for a reason. I was, I was meant to be up here, maybe not for long, but I was meant to be up here for a reason. I don't know what that reason was, 
maybe I'll find out in the future. Maybe it will like lead to like a different opportunity. It would open some doors for me. Who knows? But all I know is I'm gonna continue my journey and the experience that East Bay has given me. It's changed me to become a better person and more understanding of what it takes to be in college. And I hope I can like you know carry that with me. And uh, yeah, I mean, this quarter is basically coming to an end and on to the next quarter, right? Okay. Uh, that's all for this vlog. This is the final vlog. Uh, so, yeah, peace out.